In loop quantum cosmology, we have the avoidance of the ugly Big Bang singularity, and this gives rise to the Big Bounce theory. Each Big Bounce has a quantum bridge between contracting and expanding cosmological branches that looks a lot like an entry point to a past history that existed before the Big Bang. This is achieved by making space-time quantized. This means that we can only have the subdivision of Planck links into fixed minimal building blocks. Two points in space can have a distance of one, two, three or more Planck lengths, but they cannot be one and a half or two-thirds of a Planck length apart. This is very important when it comes to the idea of a Big Bang, because at that point in space and time, everything in the observable universe today would have been concentrated to a diameter of a few Planck lengths, and that region would contract to zero volume, and the density would become infinite, forming what is called a singularity. This singularity is the reason why the Big Bang is seen as the beginning of the universe. But quantized space-time prevents the contraction of space going to zero volume. An infinite density does not occur. Therefore, instead of having a Big Bang singularity, we have a Big Bounce in which the universe follows infinite self-sustaining cycles following an eternal series of oscillations. It is easy to look at loop quantum cosmology and say that the expanding and contracting cosmological branches are the same as the parallel universes of string theory. But there is a big difference, and that is, there is the potential to explain loop quantum cosmology based on one timeline that can run through the expanding and contracting cosmological branches. This can be explained by representing each expanding and contracting cosmological branch as a light cone. Photon energy can get through the quantum bridge with the movement of positive and negative charge forming electromagnetic fields that a new expanding cosmological branch can be based upon. Therefore, this is not a multiverse model, and we can have one timeline into the past based on the dynamic geometry of one universal process. But to form an objective picture of what these contracting and expanding cosmological branches really represent, and how they can be explained as part of a geometrical process that is explained in these videos, we will have to look at conformal cyclic cosmology and the geometry of shape dynamics. This will be done in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.